Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In today's tutorial, we are going to be making this colorful cardigan. I used scrap yarn, different colors, different textures from, you know, what I had in store. And I used the most stitch to achieve this um, pattern. And I'll be telling you how you can make it in different sizes. You will need your measurements as usual. This is what I use. Then you can adjust this to any size that you want. And I think it's pretty cool. If you're someone like me who likes color, colorful stuff, then this is it for you. So as I said, I use a lot of many colors of yarn, scrap yarn, some were size four, size three, medium weight, or even chunky and it's just different colors this is bigger than the the rest so just get your scrap yarn what you have somewhere stuck up somewhere that you don't want to use for the hook size i used a 4.0 millimeter hook and what's most important of course is tape measure and of course scissors so we are going to start with the back panel this is how it looks and for the back panel you are going to make a foundation chain equivalent to your shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder measurements plus three inches. So take your shoulder to shoulder measurements, mine is 15. When I add three inches, that is 18 inches. So my foundation chain is going to be 18 inches. Okay. So once again, take your shoulder to shoulder measurements, mine is 15 inches then to that i add three inches which makes it 18 inches so if you are making a bigger size then just take your measurements take your measurements all right so once i have my 18 inches of chain for your size you could have this is an extra small so for your size you could have i don't know 20 22 25 depends on your shoulder to shoulder measurement so 15 plus 3 18 okay for me that is an extra small okay so for row one we are going to skip one chain and go into the second chain and make a single crochet so for this pattern we're going to be using single crochets then you're going to chain one skip your next stitch and go into the one after that and make a single crochet then you're going to chain one, skip one stitch, and into the next one, make a single crochet. Chain one, skip one, and then make a single crochet. Chain one, skip one, make a single crochet. So basically, this is going to be our pattern, and it is a repeat of two rows. Okay, so skip one, make a single crochet. So from now on to the end of this row, make one chain, skip one chain and make a single crochet like that till the end. I'll meet you at the end when I'm going to change color. All right, so I'm coming to the end and uh, this is, I skip one and into the last one, I make a single crochet. So now I am going to change color so instead of making a whole single crochet i'll just have the two loops on on my hook then get my other color and i'm going to be using this navy blue for now and then pull through with that new color then chain one then i'm going to just cut off the first color and then tie these two together these two ends together very tightly you can do it twice or three times just to be secure and then now for row two i already chained one right so i'm going to turn my work and here in this first stitch i'm going to make a single crochet on top of the previous single crochet and then next we have a chain so in this chain space you'll always make a single crochet in the chain space so i'll make a single crochet in that chain space 
so i have two single crochets there and now i have a single crochet next so i'll make a chain on top of the single crochet okay this single crochet here i'll make a chain on top of it and then make a single crochet into that chain space then chain one skip one and into the chain space make a single crochet chain one skip one and make a single crochet in the chain space chain one skip skip one stitch and into the chain space make a single crochet so make a chain skip and make a single crochet chain one single crochet chain one then single crochet basically this is the pattern it's not hard right i'll meet you at the end so that we can change color once more okay so i'm coming to the end and now i have a single crochet here so i will chain one skip this single crochet and in the next chain space make one single crochet so my last stitch is a single crochet so i'll go ahead on top of it make a single crochet so i ended my row with two single crochets so we are beginning with a single crochet ending with a single crochet and everything else in between is determined whether you have a chain or a single crochet okay so change my color so i didn't finish my last single crochet i'll finish it by pulling through the, the new color then chain one cut off the previous color and then tie those two together Okay, so I'm going to turn my work since I already chained one and make a single crochet on that on top of the previous single crochet right here. Make a single crochet. And my next stitch is a single crochet. So what I'll do, I'll chain a one and skip that single crochet and into the next chain space work my single crochet. Chain one, skip the next single crochet and work in the chain space. With a single crochet so the pattern is where you have a single crochet in the previous row you will work a chain on top of it where you have a chain you'll work a single crochet like that so it's always going to be single crochet chain skip single crochet chain skip like that okay so it's as easy as that and i'm going to work this pattern until i get to the height that i want so i have measured from you know like the top of my shoulder all the way down to what i want okay so i'm just to show you one more last time i'm going to close this off so my next stitch is two single crochets so i will chain one skip one single crochet and into the last one i will make half single crochet and then change color and this is a different yarn size actually this is like almost like a chunky yeah it's it's bigger than the the rest but you will not know in the end it's all blends in in the end so i used like i said i used only scrap yarn and i used about a half a ball each color for the whole sweater okay so if you have yarn lying around you know you have half a ball of yarn somewhere many colors then you can do this so I will do a single crochet. Next one is a, a chain. So I will do a single crochet in that chain space. Then now I will chain one, skip, and then single crochet in the chain space. Chain one, skip, single crochet in the chain space. Do this until you have the height of the sweater that you want. Take your measurements from your shoulder downwards to where you want it to reach without, of course, considering the border, the ribbing, and then know how many you want you could do a very long cardigan you could do a very crop one it definitely depends on you at this point you know okay i'll meet you once you have the height that you want okay so keep repeating these two rows keep repeating those two rows until you have the height that you want all right so see you then Alright, so this is what I have. I kept, you know, mixing colors here and there. I was not following a specific color pattern or anything. I was just mixing here and there. And I did a total number of 14, 
14.5 yeah 14.5 inches long so if you want it longer add more inches if you want it shorter then do less than this just depends on what you prefer okay i did 14 and a half inches and uh, we are now going to do the front panels so for the front panels i'm just going to count all every stitch from here this side count every stitch right all the way to the end i counted all my stitches and i have 69 stitches 69 okay so from your total number of stitches you're going to subtract eight stitches this will be for our neckline but we'll also make decreases so subtract eight stitches from your total number of stitches so eight stitches from the total number that you had so 69 minus 8 will be 61 stitches for me remaining okay 61 stitches for me 61 okay 69 minus 8 61 so you could have a different number so this number will divide by 2 61 divided by 2 is 30 30.5 30 so i'll just round it off to 31 okay so and that is going to be the foundation chain of your front panels okay so my front panels will be 31 stitches okay you will definitely have a different number after you've done your math so just play replay this and see how many the calculation that i made then do it according to your stitches so once we are up here we will decrease and of course the neckline will be bigger than the eight stitches i told you all right so we we'll start from the bottom and i'm going to make a foundation chain equivalent to 31 chains that i i counted from i calculated for what whatever stitches i had okay so it's your total stitches minus eight what you get divide by two okay if you have an, a number like mine that's 30.5 then just round off to 31 or something if you have maybe you could have like 40.5 you know 28.5 i don't know so i have my 31 chains and i'm going to add one chain then skip that very chain and in the next one make a single crochet then the next stitch i'm going to chain one skip the next chain into the next one make a single crochet so now we are beginning this same pattern all over again so skip one make a single crochet chain one skip one make a single crochet so we are working on one of the front panels we will make two identical front panels okay so you are going to do this until you at the end i'll meet you there just to show you one more time how we do this pattern okay so the calculation is easy really we just subtract eight stitches from what we had then divide by two all right so i'm at the end and uh, this is going to be my last stitch then i'm going to change color and i'm using the same color pattern that i used on the other side so i'm looking at my back panel seeing what color i had for the next row and next row and i will do exactly the same thing okay so i had my navy blue cut the previous yarn then tie it together and then start on row two so i already chained one which means i'll just turn my work and make a single crochet and my next stitch is a chain so i'll make another single crochet in that chain space then my next stitch is a single crochet which means i'll chain one then single crochet in the next chain space chain one single crochet in the next chain space chain one single crochet in the next chain space and it's the same pattern like we did for the back panel so do this until you get to the end of the row All right. So I'm coming to the end and 
this is chain space so i'll make a single crochet and my last stitch will be on top of this previous single crochet and then i will change color and my next color was an orange so i'll use that tie these two together very tightly Then make a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the chain space, chain one, single crochet in the next chain space, and you're going to repeat these two rows. I'm going to repeat this until I have a 15 rows to go to the top. Okay. So until I have 15 rows to the top, because I know how many rows I have since I already did the back panel and the fourth, the height of the front panel will be the same. So once I have 15 rows to go, then I will start decreasing. So this is for the size extra small. If you're doing uh, medium, then once you have uh, 17 rows, if you're doing large, once you have 18 rows, if you're doing uh, extra large once you have 20 rows remaining like that okay so it's two rows in between every size all right so i have done and i'm remaining with my 15 rows to go so we are now going to start reducing and we'll only be reducing on one side okay only one side so i'm going to reattach my yarn my new yarn and tie this so i'll make a decrease on this one side while the other side will stay straight all right so how do we make a decrease so normally i would work in this very first stitch right with a single crochet but i will not so i'll skip this very first stitch and instead go into the second stitch which is my chain stitch and work a single crochet so normally i would have two single crochets but right now i only have one single crochet there then i'll chain one skip and make a single crochet in the chain space chain one skip make a single crochet in the chain space and i'll do that until the end of the row and i'll meet you at the end of the row so i'm at the end of the row and this is going to be my last stitch we are not making a decrease here so i'll just go in like i would and then cut this off and now for the next row is going to be a non-decreasing row so this row is decreasing and now the next one we don't make any decrease and of course we are not making any decrease on this side okay only decreasing on one side and not in every row we have a row of decrease then the next is a row of no decrease then a row of decrease and then a row of no decrease so and my work and this is where we are decreasing and this side we are keeping it straight okay so i'll turn my work in this very first stitch i'll work my single crochet like before then go into this one work a single crochet then chain one skip and i will do that until i'm at the end without making any decrease even when i get to the end i will only make a decrease when i start the next row so I'll see you at the end. So I'm coming to the end and my last stitch is going to be a single crochet so on top of this first single crochet that we made i'll make 
a single crochet that is not complete then now i need to change color so this was decreasing and this is no decrease decreasing no decrease okay so our next row is going to be a decreasing row so i'll just attach my next color And we are going to make a decrease this was no decrease so now it's a decrease row and i'm going to skip this very first stitch and work in the second stitch okay skip this and work in the second stitch so i will make a single crochet in there and my next stitch is a chain stitch so i'll work another single crochet in there and then chain one skip make a single crochet chain one skip make a single crochet by the way, if you're not doing these colors, you can decide not to do these colors in every row. You can decide to have only one color or two colors and maybe change color after every five rows. I don't know. It doesn't mean it has to be exactly like this. Okay, so you're going to keep doing this side to side. Remember, we are making one row of decrease and one row of no decrease, one row of decrease and one row of decrease until you get to the top. That is, you have the same number of rows like you did for the back panel straight decreasing okay no decrease decrease no decrease decrease like that okay so i'll meet you once you are done with two panels so once you're done with this one then make another one okay so this is how it should be when you're done with one panel then go ahead and make your second panel and then we'll come and attach them to the cardigan so I already touched one, attached one of them and I already did one sleeve, but don't worry because I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. So get one of your panels and um, put it on your sleeve like this. I mean on the rest of your cardigan like that. Of course the, the decreasing part facing in the middle and we are going to leave this space for the for the sleeve and then reattach sew together the rest of the parts all right so we'll start sewing the top part first this is for the shoulder uh, along the shoulder make sure this is facing in the middle okay so i'm going to use the same color yarn to do this so let me re reattach the yarn we are sewing the top part the shoulder part okay so just reattach the yarn and kind of make a single crochet here just to make it secure okay so now i'm going to go into the next stitch with a slip stitch and we are slip stitching both the front panel and the back panel together then go into the next chain space make a slip stitch go into the next stitch make a slip stitch both front panel and back panel together because we are trying to join them together so I'm just going to make slip stitches in every stitch until I get to the end and then I'll come show you what we do next okay all right so I have this sewed together this is my front panel and this is the right side now this will be the right side and this is the wrong side so the wrong, wrong side is facing up the front panel and back panel opened up like this so now we want to do the sleeve so for the sleeve i just took a tape measure measured it around my arm and i had 10 inches around my arm so do the same and from those 10 inches i added three inches okay so i want my sleeve to be 13 inches big 13 inches big but you can decide i want you if you want your sleeve much bigger then you could add i don't know five inches or maybe seven inches depending on how big you want it so 13 divided by 2 is 6.5 so from the middle to this other side of the front panel is 6.5 inches and from so i put a st stitch marker there okay so i know i'll start here in the gray right so one side is 6.5 and from top of the shoulder to the back side is also 6.5 inches for me so i put a stitch marker there do the same 
so this is for an extra small if you want it to fit like me but if you want it bigger or if you're doing a bigger size of course take measurements around your arm and do the same so from one this stitch marker to the other stitch marker is 13 inches for me and that's how big my sleeve will be okay so depends on your measurements and depends on how big you want it you could want to do yours maybe uh, i don't know 20 inches all right so now let's start on the sleeve so i'm going to start on the right side i'm working on the right side so i remove my stitch marker on one side and then i'm going to reattach my yarn and i chose to use this color because now i want to work with the same color pattern starting from the top to the bottom okay so i reattach my yarn and make a single crochet in that very same stitch and we are going to carry all this scrap yarn along so i'm going to go into the next stitch and make a single crochet go into the next stitch make a single crochet go into the next stitch make a single crochet so you see i'm going in every row like the previous row but i would call it a stitch okay so go into every stitch make a single crochet and we are carrying the yarn along so once you feel like you've carried the yarn for about two rows or so you can always you know leave it behind because then when you cut it off it will not you know it will still stay intact okay so like this it's getting too much so i will leave this other yarn behind and then carry the new yarn ahead then once i cut the, the yarn i left behind then i don't have to worry about it unraveling or something okay so carry the yarn along like this one stitch in every stitch so make a single crochet in every stitch carry along your yarn if it's getting too big take some out that you know you know you've carried some rows already and yeah basically that is it we are going to make one single crochet in every stitch along from one one end to the other end where we had our stitch markers so from one side of the stitch marker to the other side of the stitch marker okay i will meet you once i'm here on the other side all right so i went all along one stitch marker to the other and yeah this is how it looks and now i want to change yarn color so i cut this off my next is a pink reattach it chain one tie the yarn together secure it and now we are going to start on the most stitch again so what do we do in that very first stitch we make a single crochet so i go into this very first stitch here and make a single crochet then i will chain one skip one go into the next stitch make a single crochet chain one skip one make a single crochet chain one skip one make a single crochet and i'm going to do that until i'm at the end of this row so that i can start on the next row so it basically from now on it's the same pattern the most stitch pattern we already did it for all the panels okay over here so i've come to the end as you can see uh, i will end with a single crochet on in that last stitch it is incomplete because I want to change color and I cut this off then my next color is an orange So I'm going to make a single crochet in this very first stitch 
and then chain one because I have a single crochet next and then into the chain space make a single crochet chain one single crochet chain one skip single crochet chain one skip single crochet and basically it's the same pattern and you're going to do this until you have the you know the height of the sleeve that you want so take your tape measure from your shoulder to where you want it to reach you know how many inches those are by measuring on yourself keep repeating keep repeating until you have those inches keep in mind we have the cuff so leave about two inches for the cuff but it depends on how you want it to fit okay so i just kept you know doing this until the end so i'm at the end and from here to there i made 19 inches long okay i have my 19 inches long and we are going to sew now this side like this and then down okay like this we will sew this together just so then we'll do the cuff just like then at the end we have a sleeve looking like this one okay and we are going to sew from the wrong side all right so I will start from the bottom of the sweater of the cardigan then to the sleeve going up to the sleeve so I will reattach my yarn that I want to use I want to use this because this is what I want to use for the cuff and I'm going to make single crochets so you are going to carry the yarn along like we did before and you will keep leaving it behind as you go so I'm going to go into every stitch with a single crochet into every stitch with a single crochet both panels so you are sewing both panels together As I carry the yarn along, it's not it's not easy, it doesn't look so neat, but we'll cut this off and yeah, so I'll just keep leaving some of this behind, like the blue and the navy blue already, you know, I know I can cut it and it won't unravel, so I'll leave it behind. So now I carry the the orange the gray and the white and the blue and then i will leave it behind at some point too so just keep doing that we are making one single crochet in every stitch both the front panel and the back panel and then i leave some of this behind and then i continue for a beginner this might seem complicated or something but if it's not that hard this video is more of an intermediate level i think so i'll just continue doing that one stitch one single crochet in every stitch go get to this point under the arm and then all the way to the sleeve okay i'll meet you there so i went all the way like this okay and now i'm going to turn this inside out and work on the cuff so it's already turned inside out and this is how it looks on the right side okay so now we're going to do the cuff so for the cuff it's going to depend on how long we want it to be for me i'm going to do nine stitches so i'll nine chains i'm going to make nine chains so that's one two three four five six seven eight and then nine okay 
and I'm going to use single crochet in the back loop so I'm going to go skip this first stitch and into the second stitch I'll make a single crochet go into the next stitch make a single crochet single crochet and I'm going to make single crochets all the way to the top at the end I should have eight single crochets So I have my eight single crochets and pay attention here. So I'll skip one stitch and I'll go skip one stitch this and I'll work into the next stitch with a slip stitch. Okay, so I go into the very next stitch with a slip stitch. And my next stitch with another slip stitch so it's three slip stitches okay so then I turn my work and I'm going to work single crochets in the back loop only eight of them so on the previous on top of the previous single crochet I'll work a single crochet only in the back loop until I get to the end by the time I get to the end I should have eight stitches so I'm working single crochets only in the back loop So this is my eighth okay so I'm going to chain one turn my work and work single crochets all the way up in the back loop so here in the back I'll work a single crochet that's one two three four five six seven and eight and then i will skip one stitch so this is where i worked my last one right in the chain space so now i will skip this single crochet go into the chain space make a single uh, slip stitch one go into the next one make my second slip stitch go into the next stitch make my third slip stitch and then turn my work of course I skip all the slip stitches and I'm working a single crochet on top of the previous single crochet only in the back loop and then I work eight single crochets in the back loop and this is going to be the pattern until I get to where I started turn one turn your work and up we go again One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I skip my next stitch. So my last stitch was in the chain space. So I skip this single crochet, then walk into the chain space, slip stitch one slip stitch two and slip stitch three then turn my work and repeat so i think you get it right so keep doing that until you come back here all right so i am done i went all the way came back and then turned this inside out to the wrong side because i want to sew it together on the wrong side so I will just slip stitch in every stitch all the way up. Both sides slip stitch all the way up.
just to secure it i add one more chain one cut your yarn and pull through so one sleeve down so go ahead to your next sleeve right this is how it looks on the right side so go ahead do your next sleeve and your next panel and your next sleeve and once you're done then we'll come to the ribbing so you should have something like this now okay this is how it should be looking like yeah so now we want to do the ribbing i wanted to do to use the single crochet ribbing like we did for the cuffs but i got so lazy and i'm going to use my easiest ribbing which is the front post and back post so we're going to start at the bottom first we are starting at the bottom from one side to the other side so i'm going to reattach my yarn and i'm using this color navy blue and i'm going to chain two in this very same stitch i'm going to make a double crochet going to the next stitch make a double crochet which is this chain space here that's two next that is three next that is four and that is five okay so i have one two three four five and now i'm going to skip the next one okay so i skip this and into the next one i make a double crochet that's one that is two that is three four and five then skip the next one and then begin again skip one stitch and then start one two three four five so if you want your bottom ribbing to be tighter then you can skip after every three stitches i'm skipping after every five you can skip after every three stitches if you want it tighter so i'll meet you at the end at the bottom so that we can do on the other side so i went all the way at the bottom and i'm at the end of the bottom so in this corner stitch since we are going to work all the way up i'm going to make three double crochets in one stitch okay now for the top, for this other side for, for that's from the bottom all the way up to the collar side to the neckline side we are only going to work one single crochet in every row so here we are carrying the yarn with us because we have all this scrap yarn there so remember to carry the yarn with you so i'm making one double crochet in every stitch carry the yarn with you if you're done with it then leave it out just like we did with the rest so one double crochet in every stitch okay so this is how it looks like you're going to go all around around neckline go down until you come back to where we started at the bottom here so i'm back at the bottom and i already have one stitch in there so i'm going to put two more stitches no i already have three because this one two three okay so now then on top of the first chain two i'll make a slip stitch so we're done with row one so for row two we are going to make front post back post stitches so i'm going to go under this stitch and make a front post next is going to be a back post so i'll come from the back go over it like this and make a back post and the next one is going to be a front post like this under it and then next is a back post and this is going to be a pattern from now on you'll make front post back post front front 
front post back post and go all around until back to where we started so at the corners that's at the bottom corner and the other side of the bottom corner you will make three stitches in one stitch okay all right this is how it looks next row will be the same so i went ahead and made three rows that is from this other side here i made three rows of front post and back post and at the bottom i made five rows so once i was done with three rows i stopped going all around i started only going from side to side five rows at the bottom and around all around i went only three rows of front post and back post so and this is how it looks so once you're done you're going to go inside and cut all your yarn so once you've cut all that excess yarn that was in there then it should look like this and yeah that is our cardigan i hope you like it probably it wasn't easy for most of the beginners but it's not that complicated if you get it if you listen to my instructions so thank you so much for watching i hope you like it leave a comment subscribe and follow me on social media it's sc crochets on tiktok instagram and facebook and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next tutorial Bye.